Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can find the cube root using Abacus tool. Just like in calculator, if you are using a normal calculator, it is difficult for you to find the cube root of any number because we don't have a direct button and we should follow several steps in order to find the cube root of a number. And when it comes to Abacus also, it is the same thing. You will not get the exact answer. Sometimes you may get in decimal points as well. And then you have to get into the nearest decimal point or you should do the approximation. So here uh, we know that there are many tricks in finding the cube root of a number normally. And when it comes to Vedic maths, it is much more easier to find the square root and cube root of a number. Now, let me just give you a brief thing about whose method, whose algorithm we are going to use to find out the cube root of a number using the Abacus tool. We are going to follow Wilton J. Crook method to solve the cube roots. I'm going to show you a number in which Wilton J. Crook himself has demonstrated how to solve the cube roots. It is 9261. So we are going to first divide the tool. It is better if you have a 17 rod abacus tool. With a 13 rod, it is very difficult. With 17 rod, it is a little bit okay, but not very much easy. So this tool should be divided into three parts, four rods, six rods, and seven rods. Four rods being the root number, six rod being the square number, seven rods being the cube number. So in the cube part, we are going to take the number that is nine, two, six, one. Now, this is the normal step. By default, you have to do it. You're going to take one bead. I told you you have to take four beads, sorry, four rods for the square for the root number and I'm using the last rod. Here I have to use the sixth rod. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth rod, I'm going to place one. So since I've placed one in the square number, I'm going to remove this. And before that, we know that for square numbers, we are going to group it into two numbers. But when it comes to cube number, we are going to group into three numbers. So it is two, six, one, zero, zero, nine. So it is zero, zero, nine. Nine is here. Since I have placed one and one here in root number and square number, I'm going to remove one bead. Now we are going to start the first step. We are going to move one bead up. Now the total of the root number, we are going to move in square number. That is two. This is the first step. Now the second step is you have moved two beads. I have a total of four here. I have to add four here. So three plus four is seven. Now I finished two steps. I have to remove this seven number here. That is 2 and 5, 7. I removed 7. After this, I'm going to still continue the step. So here, we have 1 which is smaller than 7 and we do only 1 step and we'll stop there. Here, this is the first step again. Plus 1. I added 1 so it is 5. I'm going to add 5 to 7. It will be 12. 1 to 12. So now what I'll do is, I have a same number here. 1, 1. So I'm going to just move 2 beads. So when I have to move 2 beads, in the square number, in the root number also I have to move one rod. So I moved one rod, here I am going to move two rods. After taking it like this, I can, I have just moved one rod, so I am going to start with 11. So I am going to add 1, 1, 11. Now I have a total of 6, 1, 61. I am going to take 6, 1, 61 because I have moved two rods, I am taking here. Now you can see that this number and this number is matching. These two are matching. When you come across this type, then it is easy for you to just remove it. Remove everything and make the square number and cube number zero. But sometimes this same thing, same numbers, you will get immediately after three or four steps. But in few cases, you will never get and you have to keep on jumping the rods. We have limited rods to remove everything because both the numbers are same if I minus that also it will be zero now to whatever you get here you have to add two to that now then after adding two you have to divide that by three so three twos are six three ones are three so the answer will be 21 so 21 cube if I cube 21 21 into 21 into 21 I'll get 9261 
I'm going to show you the same thing in another sum. Cube root of 10,648. I'm going to place this number on the tool here. That is 10,648. I have to group this number into 3 from right side. So I'm going to group 648 and 10. That is 0, 1, 0. I have to concentrate on these two rods. I'm going to do one default step which is you're going to take one in the root side, one in the square side and then you're going to remove one here. These are two digits, two digits which are grouped. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Add 1. This is the first step. You're adding 1. The total is 2. Add 2 here. Add 2. This is the second step. Now this is 4. Add 4 here which is 7. I'm going to remove this 7 from here. You can see that 7 is greater than 2. I'm going to do one step. That is the first step and end there and irrespective of whatever it is, I'm going to just jump the rod. So 1 here which is 5. So 5 I'm going to add here which is 12. To just jump the rod. Jump the rod as in. I'm going to jump this one rod and this two rods. After jumping the rod, I'm going to start from the first step that I'm going to add 11. So once we jump one rod, we are going to start from 11. If we jump two rods, we have to start from 101. Now I have added 11. I'm going to take this number in the two rods because we have jumped these two rods. I'm going to take it here. Now this is the first step. So first step, I'm not going to subtract anything here. I'm going to do the second step. Add two beads. Now it is 63. I'm going to add six here plus 10 minus 4 plus 3. I'm going to add 3. This number I'm going to minus it from the cube number. So 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4. You can see that I have the same number 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 4. So I can remove these two sides. Here I have to do one procedure. I have to add 2 to this number and divide that by 3. Now it is 63. If I add 2, it will be 65. Now 65, I have to divide it by 3. And then, whatever the answer, I have to place it. 6. Uh, 3 2s are 6. Again, 3 1s are, I have to take 3. So 3 1s are 3. Then you will get something in decimal place. Right? So if I take it as 20, if I take this as 20, 3 5s are 15. 3 6 are 18. Okay, it comes like 21.6 something. So wherein I have to approximate it into 22, 22 cube root. But in actual, 22 cube is 10,648. So if we multiply 22 in, into 3 times, 22 into 22 into 22, the cube uh, of the answer will be 10,648. You get answers like this also, like in decimals also, wherein you have to do the approximation and get the final answer. It is similar to that of using a normal calculator but when it comes to scientific calculator you will be able to easily find the cube root of any number. The answer to this question on an abacus tool will come approximately like 21.6 which you can take it as 22 but the exact answer will be 22 only. 22 into 3 times will give you 10648. I hope this video helps. For more videos please subscribe. Thank you.